Okay, well, let's start with some, some positive news. You were announced yesterday as a nominee for the PFA Bristol Street Motors Player of the Month Award for February. What does that mean to you? A lot, obviously, that you know performances are getting recognised and things, and obviously February was a good month, obviously for me and for the team. I think we only lost that one game, was it? Kept a lot of clean sheets, um, so it was a good month. Do you get many messages from, from friends and family back home, maybe, when, when something like that happens? Yeah, definitely. Like Obviously, a lot of people from Newcastle just saying well done, and some so obviously my mates back home, and even like the lads here, just like when I came in this morning, oh well done and everything, so it's good good support. I think apart from Mike Cooper in goal, you're the only player in the team who's played every, started every league game uh, mm -hmm. this season. At this stage in your career, how important is that for you? Yeah, definitely playing games. It's so only being young, like 21, playing week in, week out, and well, Saturday, Tuesdays, like not even just once a week, like a couple of times a week. Um, it's massive for like development and learning. And, and kind of, it couldn't be a more intense season to do it, could there, with the, with the shortened season? How, how have you handled that kind of experience of, of playing twice a week, most weeks now? Yeah, I think with that, it's like so much about off the pitch, like raising my game in terms of being more professional and recovery is massive because if you don't get it right, you're not going to be ready for the game and it's just going to have a knock on effect. Um, so I think, yeah, like in terms of playing such a condensed season, definitely learnt a lot on the pitch and off the pitch. So looking back at Tuesday, obviously a, a disappointing night for us, we created plenty but, but couldn't, couldn't turn it around, what's the mood like in the camp? I think we know, you know, obviously the results haven't been there, you know, with three games on the bounce now with defeats but it's not like we haven't been in the games or there's no signs of it turning around. Uh, we've been in this situation before where we were losing games but probably deserving to lose them but um, I think with you know we hit, we hit the post and bar so many times and it's just football just small margins like that but we know we're creating chances and we're going to do um, everything to get it right to keep the back door shut that the results will change. Is that what, kind of what you cling to as, as a group now is that simply you know you look at the last three games as you say another day we could have won any one if not all of them um, it's important not to kind of lose perspective on that isn't it yeah I think so and obviously but you know at this stage in the season results are the are massive are, are the key key you know the performance can be there but you know what was it 12 you know 15 games ago like a couple weeks ago it's about the results so we know that we might have the performances or glimpses but we need a you know, put the chances away and when you do better at the round as well. So looking forward to it which on Saturday. The home game, we, I thought we were in control up until the red card, looked like we were going to win the game and obviously a mad five minutes sort of cost us. What what do you expect from them? Yeah, I think more more of the same. Um, seem to just, you know, always play that same formation. Um, but yeah, at home it was, like you said, we were in the game winning 1-0, the fans, a couple of thousand win, uh, help us on and then it just sort of was a bit of a my five minutes with a red card and a couple of goals but you know it was a close game they're obviously a good team they're high up the table for a reason um, at this stage in the season so be looking forward to it we wish you well mate thanks thank you very much